Hello everyone! Today I'm going to share a few best practices on how to get the most use out of the orders page within your Shipping Easy account. The orders page is where all your orders that have been downloaded or created are visible. It offers a lot of information about your orders and tools to manage them before they're shipped. To help you navigate easier, I'll detail some of the best and most powerful features you'll find. So let's get started. Now, I'm going to focus on features that make order management easier and more effective. If you want more insight and tips on how to print a label within Shipping Easy, go to the link on your screen. In that video, I cover these options at the top and the rate column here in more detail. As you look around the page, the biggest item to customize for your particular process on this page is the green bar at the top with your different columns. This is completely customizable by clicking Arrange Columns right here. To arrange, drag and drop items from left to right to apply. On the right, arrange them in whatever order makes sense by clicking and dragging. For instance, if you don't look at address type when processing orders, remove that column by dragging to the left or clicking the arrow. Use as many or as few columns as you need. One column to shout out is the order number. By clicking on it, you gain access to order details including the address, product images, and an event log. This lets you know where the order came from, if any rules were applied, and even if an email was sent to this order based on an automated condition within our email marketing tool. You can click the edit button to edit the address or any other information and the arrows to toggle between orders. Now let's take a look over on the left side of the screen at the filters. Filters can be a very valuable tool to quickly filter for what you need to focus on. You may find yourself constantly using the same filter or filters every day when shipping. If so, I would recommend saving the filter configuration using the Save View button here so you can use it for future use. The configuration is added to the drop-down here so many can be saved. I saved a view that shows me only orders with rate quotes, which are orders that have all the information necessary to buy a label, so I can quickly activate that view and easily buy all my labels at one time. I also have another saved view so I can quickly view and fix any of my orders with an invalid address. Right below the filters is this drop down that allows you to adjust the number of orders displayed on the page. It defaults to 50, but you can increase it up to 200. I use 200 so I can buy as many labels as possible at one time. Back up at the top of the page, I want to show you two really useful features within the More drop down. They are splitting orders and combining orders. You may need to split an order if part of it is being shipped separately or at a later date. When splitting an order, you can split by quantity or line item. To split by line item, expand an order with multiple line items, uncheck the products that need to be in a separate shipment, then go back up and select Split Order from the More dropdown. This splits the order into two, one for everything that has a check and one for everything that doesn't. To split by quantity, put a check next to the line item with more than one quantity and select Split Quantity in the same way. This brings up a window where you determine the new quantities and, if applicable, number of orders. I'll also note that if you have products that are constantly being split off from orders, we have a couple rules to automate this process. In Shipping Easy, shipping rules are simple if-then statements that allow you to automate certain actions within the app. For instance, you can set up the system to recognize a specific SKU and break it out into its own separate shipment. You also have a rule condition to split out all items into their own orders. To learn more about rules, check out the Advanced Shipping Setup Guide at shippingeasy.com guide. Now combining orders works in two ways, selected or all with the same recipient. Orders that are eligible to be combined are orders going to the exact same address and originate from the same store. If you have two or more of these, you can select them, then hit Combine Orders Selected. Confirm the address to which these orders are being shipped and hit Confirm. Then, like magic, two orders become one. The other way to combine orders is to combine all orders with the same recipient. This means that orders not only have the same address, but also the same last name. You don't have to manually select any orders, just hit All with the same recipient, and Shipping Easy will have you confirm how many orders will be combined. It really doesn't get any easier than that. One last thing I want to point out on this page is one of the most useful features in the entire app, the global search bar. It's also available on every page of the app. 
If you're looking for an order in the app, save time by entering the order number, tracking number, or recipient name, and it will locate it wherever it is with the details you need. So that's my overview of the orders page. I showed you the most important and useful features, but if you want a more in-depth and comprehensive look, check out our article on the topic in the Getting Started Guide by clicking Guides at the top of the page, opening the Basic Shipping Setup section, and selecting Orders Page. There you go. Thanks for watching, everyone.